Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and I'm here with Stitch. This was modeled by Garrett over at Chaos Cortec, and then on their channel, Chelsea, his wife, painted it. Looks awesome. Of course, I'll put a link down in the description. But I saw something interesting. Garrett tweeted out that this model was very difficult with FDM supports because it left all sorts of scars in the mouth that had to be sanded out. And of course, the mouth area in there isn't an easy area to get to. But I thought, well, this is interesting. I have access to the new Simplify 3D and one of the features that they've implemented is allowing a secondary extruder to lay down the filament for dense or interface support material. And the interface layer right here this is the layer between uh, the support and the model. So wherever the support touches the model is the interface layer. And what Simplify 3D allows with their option now is you can use PLA or whatever for your typical supports and save the more expensive PVA just for where you need it, where it touches the model. The thinking there is you won't have these scars on the model when you're removing the supports, at least. That's the goal. So that's what we're gonna find out and we're gonna pull the supports from this model and we're gonna see how well it kept the scarring from the supports using PVA for the interface layers. All right, here's the stitch. This is where we need to pull the supports from. I've got flush cutters and I've got needle nose pliers. That should help us in our quest. Let's get started. Normally, you would use PVA supports for when you want to dissolve something off the model. And uh, maybe at some point I will attempt to dissolve the supports off the model using PVA as the interface layer. But for now, let's just pull off the regular supports and see how well it works. <laughs> oh, dang it. Well, let's keep going. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had no idea this was going to happen. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. Uh, I do think it's an interesting feature, and I think that having the ability to use the more expensive PVA for the interface layers between the support and the model uh, you, you save some money and it makes supports easier to, to take off the model. Uh, in the parts that, I, that aren't split in half, I am seeing no scarring from support materials. And it looks like the PVA was wrapped around the teeth here and the teeth here. But these teeth failed because the model did have a layer shift. Oh, man. But if you... Uh, if you look, this is just, er, frick. Well, this model certainly sucked, and it's a new day. I'm wearing a different shirt, I think. So I've, I've, uh, I've taken some time, and what happened was, after I analyzed the time-lapse footage, the bed moved. So on the Sigma, the bed is held on by three magnets and you have to set it in just right. And if it's not just right, it doesn't slide into the right slots. The bed doesn't lay flat-ish. So then it has the ability to move or shift, which it did. And that's why it was printing this and then it shifted, which meant it printed this slightly in air. And that's why Stitch is all of a sudden Canadian. Never fear though, this is a new day. I did print a new stitch. I printed this stitch at 50% scale because A, I wanted it to go faster and B, I just wanted it to go faster. This has uh, five interface layers of PVA with supports of the standard variety being in PLA. It turned out pretty good. You can see that because the supports are held in place by PVA, they just kind of peel off. And because the PVA was interfacing between the supports and the rest of the model, you don't leave any scars or imperfections on the face of the model because the PVA, like I said, just comes right off. Never fear though, rather than peel this and risk decapitating Stitch once again, I've acquired myself a semi-warm bowl of water. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop Stitch into the water 
and the water will dissolve away the PVA that holds the supports in place. And what I'm hoping happens is the rigid supports made with the PLA then are able to peel away just fine. Goodbye, Stitch. Kerplunk. I also printed uh, Toothless. This is designed by my buddy Carmelo and I printed on the BCN like this. So the supports that are rigid came up to the model and then the interface layers were made with PVA. It's very thin in some places and uh, I don't know if it printed okay. The stringiness you see is just from a non-tuned profile on the BCN. This is all uh, PLA strings. It's like uh, corn husk hair, sort of, but it's a little stronger and you don't want to get it caught in your teeth. So this goes in the water as well. There we go. We'll let that sit for a bit. We'll come back and then we will see what happens. It's been a little bit. Let's check in the bucket of water. You can tell that the PVA supports have actually melted away from the, the lip area. You can tell. Here's, uh, here's the toothless model. This is kind of cool. You can see where the interface layers were. They did melt away, so you should. Boy, I'm going to try. Let's see. I <laughs> don't know if this will come off without... I don't want to break anything. What's still holding on? Ah, there we go. There we go. There's Toothless. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. It looks like he's just uh, got done shaving. Here, let me get the rest of that off. Toothless. Looks like he did okay. There's... Uh, oh, it does... Looks like uh, the printing of this one did shift a bit, and it looks like uh, this back foot is a little club. A little club foot. But regardless, the mouth turned out extraordinary, and that would be a place where the supports had to build inside. The tail looks good. Uh, it looks like Toothless can fly. If you look at the support, here it is. And you can tell that uh, where the interface layer would have been if it hadn't dissolved away. It would have been right there. Now we need to work on stitch. All right. So the support is quite loose, which is, which is great. Now we just need to find a way to get it off of the model. Again, I want to pay close attention to the mouth area. Here's the support as it came out. And here is Stitch. There he is. This, uh, this isn't bad. It looks like the roof of the mouth isn't uh, as solid as it could be. I think that could be solved by increasing the number of interface layers or increasing the density of the interface layers. I believe this was at 75%, which is a default. But uh, I can tell that there aren't any uh, zits or scabs or scars or support markings from where it came off. In fact, the entire model, wherever there was support, there's no record of it because it was just PVA keeping it there. So there we go. There's some models and these were printed with the PVA being the interface layer for supports. All right, well, a big thanks to Simplify 3D for letting me try out the new version. I'm glad that they've added this option to give the secondary extruder or the, another extruder the ability to do the interface layers for support because then we get this, this ability. I know that Cured has that ability and has had it for a couple months, but Simplify 3D is still the only slicer I know of that allows you to do customizable support. So that's, that's kind of cool right there. Well, there we have it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and ring that bell to be notified when cool new stuff gets uploaded. Thanks for supporting me via YouTube, Red, Patreon for letting the ads play. I really appreciate that. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. These are cool. As always, high five.